Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings everyone. I am Shafika binti Shahidi, a final year student of Applied Chemistry. Welcome to my final year project presentation. Today, I would like to present my project entitled Preparation and Characterization of Pineapple Fiber Filled Polypropylene Composites, a review. Supervised by Dr. Nur Hafizachi Ismail. But first, this is the table of content throughout the presentation that I'll be talking about. The first part is introduction where I'll brief an overview regarding this project. The background of study. The issue on depletion of petroleum waste disposal and product degradation have urged a number of studies worldwide to find a solution to this issue. New materials have been studied to replace the synthetic fiber which are difficult to degrade by enzymes or bacteria. The new materials stated above are composite reinforced with nature fiber which has been recognized as the most promising material to replace the synthetic fiber in the composite manufacturing. Generally, there are three types of nature fiber which are animal, plant and mineral fiber. However, plant fiber are widely accepted in research area due to their short growing season, renewability and full availability. Examples of nature fiber are jute, sisal, flax, hemp, cor, pulp and many more. Pulp chosen as the filler in this study is among the most commonly cultivated waste in agriculture in Malaysia and Asia. It exhibits great property which could be used in the polymer composite production. It has major drawback which is it, it is hydrophilic in nature, thus it does not well bonded with the hydrophobic polymer matrix. However, this issue can be solved by using chemical treatment towards the pulp to improve the interfacial quality between the pulp and the polymer. In recent years, many studies have indicated that pulp may be used in various polymer as strengthening material, for instance, polypropylene, polyethylene, and polyester. In this study, the chosen polymer metric is polypropylene. There are two objectives for this study, which are to review the surface modification of pineapple fiber as well as to evaluate the properties of pulp PP composite using various characterization methods. The problem statement, what issue arise that inspired me to do this project? The utilization of synthetic fibers obtained from conventional sources of energy such as petrochemicals and crude oils in the composite manufacturing can cause severe issues towards the environment. Therefore, it has urged the researcher to look for an environmentally friendly material and a replacement for the synthetic fiber reinforced polymer composite. Natural fiber occur to be outstanding materials which are variable and plentiful replacement for the non-renewable synthetic fiber. As aforementioned, pulp is chosen due to its excellent property as well as to minimize the waste generated from the pineapple leaf from the pineapple cultivation of after harvesting. Moving on to the second part is the literature review. What is pineapple fiber and how does it look like? Pulp is a white, shiny, as silk and smooth with medium length fiber as shown in figure 1. Pulp are composed of crystalline cellulose microfibrils which are connected to form a continuous layer through amorphous lignin and hemicellulose. Pulp fiber cell comprise a vascular bundle system obtained after the entire upper layer of the leaf are mechanically removed after harvesting. Pulp can be obtained either by manual or mechanical extraction. The utilization of pulp as a reinforcement filler has major disadvantages. The surface modification of pulp using chemical method is required to solve this issue. For my study, I'll be focusing on alkaline treatment. Alkaline treatment is a popular chemical treatment for natural fiber. It is one of the most cost-effective and simple methods to improve the interaction between the natural fiber to polymer matrix. Let's look into the example from table 1, the part I highlighted. According to Feng et al, composites treated with sodium hydroxide show tensile strength improvement. Increasing the sodium hydroxide concentration up to 5% improve the pulp composite tensile strength. However, further increase give negative impact on the tensile strength. Next, I'll explain about the, poly the chosen polymer matrix which is polypropylene. 
Polypropylene is a thermoplastic polymer with a related chemical structure of CH2, CHCH3 as illustrated in figure 2. Polypropylene has useful characteristics for example flame resistance, high heat distortion temperature, dimension and stability and high impact strength transparency. It is also suitable for filling, blending and reinforcing. Next is about the characterization method of PAR-VP composite to evaluate the composite's property. Firstly is Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy FTIR. It is an efficient method for the determination of the composite's chemical composition and functional group within the natural fibers. A study done by Kumar et al. shows that for the untreated path, the spike peaks of absorption at 3,422 cm and 1,736 cm represent the hydroxyl group and the carbonyl group bonded to the cellulose and lignin molecules, as presented in Figure 3. The peak, this peak disappeared evidently from the treated filler spectra when treated with sodium hydroxide. Scanning electron microscope SEM, is an instrument to evaluate the morphology properties of the composite. Based on a previous work by Najib et al., they evaluate the surface morphology of the untreated and silent treated path as depicted in Figure 4. The untreated path bundles were made up of several single fiber that were bonded together. After the silent treatment, the impurities were found to be reduced. X-ray diffraction XRD is a technique used to determine the crystallographic structure of the composites. From figure 5, it shows the X-ray diffractogram of untreated and treated path, a study conducted by Kumar et al. The diraxing and delignification of modified path are evident from the reduction in peak intensity at two theta angle around 26 to 27 degree, implying the cellulosic molecules property. Non-cellulosic components, which are hemicellulose and lignin, were removed from the filler molecules, which is a crucial factor in reducing peak intensity, causing greater in crystallinity index for the treated filler. As can be seen from the figure, the treated filler sample have a higher number number of sharp crystal peaks compared to untreated filler sample. Moving on to the third part is the conclusion for the study. To sum up, as aforementioned in the introduction and literature review part, with environmental issues becoming more prevalent now, it is a must to replace the synthetic fiber and non-degradable material to natural fiber specifically pulp. Pineapple is extremely abundant in Malaysia, however only the fruits are used while the leaves are discarded and burned, posing a serious environmental problem. Thus, with the utilization of pulp as a reinforcement in the polymer composite is indeed a great choice where it can solve the issue arise as well as minimize the pineapple leaf waste generated from pineapple cultivation. From the literature review part under characterization method findings, it can be concluded that chemical treatment is very essential to improve the composite's property. The last part of this presentation are some recommendations for future studies. First, replace the synthetic fiber with natural fiber. As the world is moving towards a cleaner and safer environment, it is highly recommended to completely replace the synthetic fiber with natural fiber, particularly pulp in the production of composites. As is well known, natural fiber is an environmentally friendly material which makes it a good option to be used as a filler in the polymer composites. Second, more studies should be conducted on fiber treatment method, processing method as well as the characterization method of the composite to evaluate the composite's property. Lastly, the utilization of PAF PP composites should be promoted and widened in various industries, including furniture, sports, automotive, and many more. Listed here is the reference used for the study. That is all from me. Thank you for listening to my FYP presentation. Hoping that all of you will gain some information from my presentation. Have a nice day.